land of the Vikings. 500 years before Columbus, that big circle of human migration around the planet finally came into being right here in Lance Meadows. We're Michael and Holoff. Together with our German Shepherd, Kana, This is for you. Oh. We've been traveling full time around the United States in our camper van. Kana, what you doing? We arrived in Canada to explore the vast land of the Great White North. So come, join us and travel around Canada in our home on wheels. Previously, we were at Gros Morn, one of the two national parks in Newfoundland, where we took a boat ride to view Gros Morn's majestic fjords. Is that true, Michael? What? All the words? Oh yeah, I've heard all of them. <laughs> After Gros Morn, we continued on with our van life journey north, along the western peninsula of Newfoundland, to a very special place at the northern tip of the province called Lance Meadows. We arrived in Lansom Meadows, a very special place that sits atop a stunning backdrop of bogs, rugged cliffs, and coastline. The sun is setting for the day, so our exploration in this amazing landscape will have to wait for another day. It is about 6 a.m. here in Lansa Meadows. We just woke up. Probably still look really tired, but it is going to rain today, so we had to get up before the rain started. So we are going to go out and see this place come heck or high water before the rain starts. So first of all, we need to get Kana to do her business, and we're getting out of here to go see this place. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain. It doesn't really, does it? But it's going to. Yes, yeah, going to. It's Newfoundland. If it says it's gonna be sunny, it's probably gonna rain. But if it says it's gonna rain, it's definitely gonna rain. It is now 6.15 a.m. and we are about to go out and do this place. We have not had coffee yet. The goal is to do this whole complex before it starts raining and then reward ourselves with coffee at the end. Now we all learn in history books as children that Christopher Columbus quote unquote discovered North America or at least was the first European to set foot on North America but that is just not true. Oh, it's not true? No, it's not true. It was the Vikings. 500 years before Columbus, the Vikings, Leif Erikson, called Leif the Lucky, I believe, set foot here in Newfoundland at Lansa Meadows in a place that was called Vinland by the Vikings. They discovered the remnants of like an intact uh, Viking arriving in the 11th century from Greenland and it just make everybody so excited when they discovered in the 60s. Fast forward to 1970s, it became UNESCO World Heritage Site and now everybody just learned about it. Well, we all learned about it in our school books growing up. So I, I guess didn't. that was back in the 70s for me. So uh, this is like a very, very important site. You know, I don't even know why they teach about Christopher Columbus anymore because you know, the man got here because he made a mistake. <laughs> And he yeah. still hails as a hero by some people. So today, we're going to explore Lanzo Meadows. This is actually mostly our outdoors, two point something kilometers trail that we're going to walk around and see the ruins and learn a little bit about Finland. And hopefully see some moose. Do it before the rain too. They keep advertising moose on the highway, but we never see them. Right. False advertising. Yeah, maybe we'll see one. Check out the sun coming up behind the mountains. That is pretty. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but it's supposed to rain in two hours. And that's why we're here now in the hiking trail by six o'clock. But this is absolutely gorgeous. You can see the sunrise and we're actually seeing a moose now. That is a moose. Yep, for sure. So behind me right here is a pond that the Vikings used to use to, after the seal hunt, they would come here to soak the skins and they would loosen the hair off the skins, pull it off and they would tan those skins and make boots and things like that. So this pond was used for that. Around us here, you see these boggy areas. They were places to get bake apples and partridge berries and things like that. So this was a very active area back when the Vikings were here. This is what in Newfoundland they call a bake apple and a lot of people call them cloud berries. They're a little bit bitter, but a lot of people 
don't like them. Because of the buggy area, they built a boardwalk to elevate the uh, trail itself. Therefore, it is actually very helpful to not stepping on the bog. It's a pitcher plant. This is the uh, official flowers of Newfoundland Labrador. They have them here too. The trail we're on follows the coastline all the way around this Viking settlement. And one thing you really notice though, there's some really steep cliffs here too. So if you're coming here, you should wear some good hiking boots and be very careful around the escarpments because it'll be pretty easy to fall in. But if you do fall in, you're gonna fall into some beautifully clear water. <laughs> it's absolutely striking how clear the water is. Looks cold. Fun fact about the Vikings here in Newfoundland. They were avid moose hunters. False fact. <laughs> no. Moose were not introduced to Newfoundland until over a thousand years after the Vikings. They came over from the mainland, they brought a group of moose over here in the very early 1900s and now the moose population on Newfoundland is the densest of anywhere else in the world and there's about 120,000 moose on the island. The word lance, L apostrophe A N S E, means cove which I had no idea before. Lansa Meadows then would have been named after either Lansa Medea, which I think is a person's name, or Lansa Medusa, which means land of jellyfish. That seems kind of appropriate too. It depends on what's out in that water. But I actually like it that it's Lansa Meadows because the first thing you notice here, it's not like meadows of grass or anything, but it's meadows of moss and bog and things like that. So Lansa Meadows, no matter how you interpret it, kind of sounds appropriate. It's a troll. It's a Viking troll. It's a very random thing to see built inside of a National Historic Site. I don't know what that is. It's like an art installation. Yeah, I guess so. Meaning what? I don't know. But I do know it is not a thousand years old. <laughs> in the actual excavation area of the Viking settlement and they actually have a replica of the huts in the living encampment of the Viking. This area right here behind me is an active archaeological site. I'm sure they're still finding a lot of different things from the Viking settlement back in the 11th century. Parks Canada did a fantastic job of recreating the small Norse encampment site of timber and sod buildings from over 1,000 years ago. Look at the details on this wall. Hello. Can you see us in here? Barely. It's creepy. <laughs> well, this looks like maybe it's a replica of, I don't think it's a house, but it looks like maybe a storage area. And the Vikings were a little bit ahead of their time if you look up here by about maybe a thousand years. Oh! Electric fans. The summers can get pretty warm here, so to have those electric fans would have been really great. That's how they got over here first. They probably had electric motors too, propellers. This is a replica of a furnace hut here. I would imagine that had been something like a smelter there where they would do their iron works or, you know, whatever, uh, making their swords and their, you know, the rings that go on barrels for the cooper, that kind of stuff. It's starting to rain now, so we're gonna go back to the visitor center because we also don't have anything to cover the camera with and we'll take part in their indoor program yes. for the rest of the day. So this is not clicking. All right, umbrella malfunction. <laughs> I don't hey. think this is taking us to the I don't think this is taking us to the visitor center. It's a perfect example of how moody Newfoundland weather is. <laughs> Although we, we know for sure it's supposed to rain it's for actually, the whole day. It's actually not raining right now. No, it's not at all. But get a little soaked, but I know it's coming. <laughs> it is coming. This is the river that the burly Viking men would come to to bathe once weekly. <laughs> so we saw the furnace building back in the replica of the settlement. 
And now this is the actual furnace building and forge a thousand years after it was in use. Okay, so we thought we were going to the end of the trail. Our vehicle is right on the other side of this building, but unfortunately the building is not open and the trail ends here. So we have to try to figure out some way to get back around to the other side, which means we may have to re-hike this whole trail all the way back and hope to heck it doesn't rain. <laughs> oh well. That's the visitor center, right? That's the visitor center. Wind's picking up. It's definitely a very different landscape now. It's a bitter cold morning before coffee time too. <laughs> Back in the van. Nothing like a coffee after a hike. You know, this McDonald's coffee is really good. I hate for this to be an advertisement for McDonald's, but as far as ground coffee goes, it's really, really good. I can imagine a thousand years ago, Leif Erikson and his crew sitting on their boat having a coffee in the morning. Life on the ship is probably pretty rough without coffee. And while we're enjoying coffee, it doesn't hurt to cook a little breakfast in the van before continuing on with our exploration in Lanza Meadows. Imagine 1,000 years ago in this very spot, some starving kids wishing they, they have coffee. Huh? Huh? Starving kids? Starving, I don't know, Nordic Viking kids. The second part of our exploration is the visitor center, which is right behind us. The rain hasn't materialized yet. We really thought it was gonna rain, so we made an extra effort to get the first part done on the trail outside as quickly as we could. But now we're going to go into the visitor center. We're kind of doing this bit backwards today. So let's go in, find out a bit more about this place and see our old friend, Leif Erikson. Lansom Meadows is the only authenticated site of Norse settlement in North America. The North traveled here around 1000 AD. The archaeological remains of their sod buildings are the earliest known European structures in North America. Their bloomery, or ironworks, the site of the first known ironworking in the New World. The site itself is the base from where they launched expeditions resulting in the first contact between Aboriginal North Americans and Europeans. Lansom Meadows ranks among the major archaeological properties of the world. Just outside the visitor center, there's a tribute to Anne Stein and Helge Ingstad, who initiated the discovery of Lansom Meadows in 1960s, proving that the Vikings landed in North America 500 years before Christopher Columbus. Good morning. Good morning. No, very, un very uncommon, yeah. Oh. That's the actual oh, okay. Something a lot of people don't know about is that Parks Canada also has a national park passport. Here at Lansom Meadows, they have three stamps to represent the place. Uh, the passport stamp thing? Uh, no, no, it's all kind of There's a bit of confusion between the terms Vikings and Norsemen. Both refer to the same Germanic people who settled in Scandinavia during the Viking Age, who spoke the old Norse language. The term Norse refers to Norsemen who were full-time traders, while Vikings refers to the people who were actually farmers but were part-time warriors who took to the seas to raid, trade, or explore. Here at the visitor center, they have a collection of Vikings in popular culture, which helps to explain the Viking culture represented here at Lansom Meadows. The absolute coolest thing that we've learned today is that the meeting of the Norse and the native Aboriginal people that were here closed the circle of humanity. So when humans first came into being 200,000 to 150,000 years ago in Africa, they moved up from Africa. Some went to turn left, some turn right. So you had some going into Europe, some going into Asia and down to the Middle East, and then some going into North America. A thousand years ago, the Norse came to Newfoundland and during that time, probably met the Aboriginal people that were here. So that big circle of humanity finally closed 1,000 years ago, and that's one of the most important aspects of Lansom Meadows that most people don't even think about. That big circle of human migration around the planet finally came into being right here in Lansom Meadows. One of the most important artifacts that they found here in Lansom Meadows is this pin right here. That signifies that this whole settlement was indeed a Norse settlement because that pin actually used to tie up the cloak and that's never existed here in the North American culture, indigenous culture here. 
And when they found it, they knew right away the old Indian settlement was thought to be this area was actually a Viking. And right here is a spindle whorl that was actually found by a young boy visiting his father at the excavation site. So the significance of this spindle whorl is that they also found it in Greenland at known Viking or Norse sites. And this, along with that bronze pin, absolutely proved that this was a Norse Viking settlement. And this is the butternut seed that proved that they'd been to New Brunswick. Yeah. After Lansa Meadows, we're continuing our journey in Newfoundland. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow along, as well as hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Hello? Hello, is anybody in here? Hello, I'm here to talk to you about your car warranty. Pizza delivery. Candy Graham. Nobody's home. <laughs> <laughs>